kickstarting our countdown at number 10, we find ourselves at the iconic Belem Tower. Embroidered with the rich tapestry of history, this sentinel of the Tagus River stands as a testament to Lisbon's maritime glory days. Erected in the early 16th century, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is a masterpiece of the Portuguese Manueline architectural style, intertwining Gothic and Renaissance elements. An embodiment of the Age of Discovery, Belem Tower has witnessed countless seafarers embarking on perilous voyages to uncharted territories. But it's not all about the past. Ascend to the top of this storied edifice, and you'll be rewarded with panoramic views that will leave you breathless. The azure waters of the Tagus, the sweeping cityscape, and the endless sky, a vista that's worth every step. So, if you're a history buff with a craving for stunning vistas, Belem Tower is a must visit. Moving on to number 9, we step into the serene Igreja de São Vicente de Fora. Nestled within the charming streets of Lisbon, this church is a beacon of tranquility amidst the city's hustle and bustle. A step inside reveals a breathtaking interior, where every detail is a testament to the meticulous craftsmanship of the artisans who built it. From the intricately designed azulejos, the traditional Portuguese tiles adorning its walls, to the majestic altarpiece, the church is an art lover's paradise. The peaceful ambiance of the church, with its gentle light filtering through stained glass windows, invites visitors to pause and soak in the spiritual atmosphere. It's a place where time seems to stand still, allowing one to reflect and rejuvenate. But the experience doesn't end there. Ascending to the rooftop, you're greeted with a panoramic view of Lisbon, a sight that will surely etch itself in your memory. This hidden gem is an absolute feast for the eyes and soul. At number 8, we have the Ajuda National Palace, a royal retreat unlike any other. Nestled in the heart of Lisbon, this grandiose palace brims with fascinating tales. Its history is as rich as the opulence that graces its rooms dating back to the 19th century when it served as the official residence for Portuguese royalty. Every corner of Ajuda National Palace is a testament to royal grandeur. The palace is home to a plethora of opulent rooms, each boasting a unique charm. From the grand throne room to the intimate queen's boudoir, the palace offers a captivating journey through time. But it's not just the rooms that are a sight to behold. This royal retreat houses an extensive collection of art and antiques, each piece echoes the palace's illustrious past and the vibrant culture of Portugal. For a peek into royal extravagance, Ajuda National Palace is the place to be. Next up at number 7 we delve into the spiritual heart of the city, the Lisbon Cathedral. Imagine a place where stone walls whisper tales of the past, where echoes of solemn prayers fill the air, and where time seems to stand still. That place is the Lisbon Cathedral, a testament to the city's rich history and deep spiritual roots. Constructed in the mid-12th century, the cathedral has stood as a symbol of faith and resilience amidst the city's changing landscape. With its stunning blend of Romanesque and Gothic architecture, the cathedral's imposing facade and intricate interior never fail to captivate visitors. But the true beauty of the Lisbon Cathedral lies in its significance to the locals. For centuries, it has served as a place of worship, a beacon of hope, and a sanctuary of peace. It's not just a building, it's the heart and soul of Lisbon. A visit to Lisbon isn't complete without stepping into this awe-inspiring spiritual sanctuary. Halfway through our countdown at number 6, we marvel at the engineering genius of the Aqueduto das Aguas Livre. This grand aqueduct, which means aqueduct of the free waters, is a testament to Portugal's rich history and innovative spirit. Constructed in the 18th century, it stretches an impressive 18 kilometers in length, cutting through the landscape of Lisbon and its surrounding areas. Its primary function was to solve a pressing problem of the time, bringing clean, fresh water to the city's inhabitants. The aqueduct not only served its purpose brilliantly, but also stood strong against the infamous earthquake of 1755, which devastated Lisbon. Its resilience is a symbol of the enduring spirit of the city and its people. As we admire this engineering marvel, remember to hit that subscribe button and share your favorite Lisbon site in the comments. This monumental aqueduct is a testament to the ingenuity of the past. At number 5, we pay our respects at the National Pantheon, the final resting place of Portugal's national heroes. This is no ordinary burial ground. The National Pantheon is a symbol of national pride, a beacon of reverence and respect. With roots tracing back to the 17th century, it's a testament to Portugal's rich history and legacy. The Pantheon's grandeur is truly a sight to behold. 
it's crowned with a stunning dome that seems to touch the sky. A perfect metaphor for the lofty heights reached by the luminaries it houses. Within its solemn walls you'll find the final resting places of notable figures such as the revered Fado singer Amalia Rodriguez, the esteemed writer Almeida Garrett, and the legendary footballer Eusebio. These individuals, among others, have shaped Portugal's identity, leaving an indelible mark on its culture, sports and literature. The National Pantheon stands as a grand tribute to Portugal's illustrious sons and daughters. Breaking into the top four, we find ourselves in the buzzing LX factory, the heart of Lisbon's creative scene. This innovative hub, once a collection of industrial buildings, is now a vibrant home to a myriad of trendy shops, art studios, and restaurants. It's not just a place, but a living, breathing entity, pulsating with creativity and innovation. Here, you'll find a blend of the city's most imaginative minds, all in one place, crafting everything from cutting-edge fashion to avant-garde art. The restaurants here are as diverse as the creativity that surrounds them, offering a unique fusion of traditional Portuguese cuisine with a modern twist. The atmosphere is electric, charged by the passion of the artists, designers, and entrepreneurs who call this place home. For a taste of Lisbon's vibrant contemporary scene, LX Factory is a must-visit. At number three, we're starstruck by the sheer beauty of the Basilica da Estrela. This grandiose basilica isn't just a feast for the eyes, it's a treasure trove of history and artistry. Its jaw-dropping frescoes are a testament to the skill of the artisans of yesteryear, their vibrant colors and intricate details painting stories of faith and devotion. But the visual splendor doesn't stop at the frescoes. The basilica's nativity scene is a masterstroke of ornate craftsmanship, a tableau of miniature figures that brings the biblical tale to life in the most enchanting way. And just when you think you've seen it all, the basilica surprises you with its terrace. Here, you're treated to stunning views that stretch across Lisbon's rooftops, a panorama that's as breathtaking as the basilica itself. With its captivating beauty, the Basilica da Estrela truly is a star among churches. Almost at the top, at number two, we find ourselves on the Pilar 7 of the 25th of April Bridge. This isn't just any bridge, folks. It's a bridge that tells stories, paints pictures, and provides a view that is unparalleled. Imagine standing high above the ground, with the city sprawling beneath you like a vibrant tapestry, woven with threads of history and culture. The Tagus River glimmers like a silver ribbon, threading its way through Lisbon's heart. The sight is enough to make you catch your breath and hold it, as if in a silent salute to the city's beauty. And the thrill, the thrill of being so high above the ground, with the city spread out beneath you, is a unique experience. It's the kind of thrill that makes your heart beat a little faster, your eyes shine a little brighter. For a view of Lisbon like no other, Pilar 7 is the place to be. And now, we've arrived at our number one spot, the majestic ruins of Convento do Carmo. This unforgettable site is steeped in history, a silent witness to the passage of time. Founded in the 14th century, the convent was once a thriving center of Carmelite life until the devastating earthquake of 1755 reduced it to ruins. But these ruins, with their Gothic arches reaching towards the sky, are not a symbol of defeat. They're a testament to resilience, to the enduring spirit of Lisbon itself. The Convento do Carmo stands today as a serene and contemplative space. Its open roof, now only the vast expanse of sky, lets in the gentle whispers of the wind and the warming rays of the sun. Amidst the hustle and bustle of the city, it offers a moment of tranquility, a step back into another era. The Convento do Carmo, a poignant testament of time, is our top pick for sites to visit in Lisbon. And there you have it, our top 10 sites to visit in Lisbon. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane. At the top of our list, we have Convento do Carmo, a majestic testament of time. Then we have the Pilar 7, the 25th of April Bridge, offering a view like no other. The Basilica di Estrella shines as a star among churches, and the LX factory pulsates with creativity. The National Pantheon stands as a grand tribute to Portugal's heroes, and the Aqueduto das Aguas Livres showcases an engineering marvel. The spiritual heart of the city, Lisbon Cathedral follows with the Royal Retreat, a Judah National Palace, not far behind. Igreja de São Vicente de Fora, a hidden gem, comes next. Finally, we circle back to where we started, at the Bellum Tower, where history stands tall. Each of these sites offers a unique slice of Lisbon, so be sure to add them to your itinerary when you visit this beautiful city.